Welcome to another tutorial in the Treatment Studio series of instructional videos. This tutorial will show you how to import and register stone models and intraoral scans for implant and restoration planning. Contact ICAT Technical Support at 800-205-3570 option 5 for any further assistance that may be needed. If you have a digital file of a stone model in either an STL or PLY file format, you may import your models into Treatment Studio's Restoration tab and subsequently register them with the patient's CBCT scan. Before we continue, I'll define STL and PLY for anyone not familiar with the terminology. STL is an acronym for stereolithography, and STL is a file format used by software to generate information needed to produce three-dimensional models like a surgical guide on a 3D printer. PLY is an acronym for Polygon File Format and is another popular format used in 3D printing. When the Restoration tab opens in Treatment Studio, the rendering window will be empty unless you have placed an implant, or if models have already been registered to the volume. If you have placed an implant, the Add Restoration pop-up window will appear. Let's go ahead and close the Add Restoration screen. I have already registered an STL of the lower arch with the CBCT volume as evidenced by the model appearing in the lower right rendering window. I will now take you through the process of registering the upper arch. To begin registration of the upper arch, let's select Import Stone Models in the Restoration tab's control panel. If models are already present in the workup, this function will allow you to replace the existing models. Next, locate the folder that contains the STL or PLY files of either an intraoral scan or a CBT scan of a stone model. Next, double click on the file labeled Upper Jaw. Let's now select the correct arch and click OK. After the stone model has been prepared, select Maintain Position if the STL is of an intraoral scan so that the closed bite is maintained when the lower arch is imported. If you do not want to maintain the closed bite position or if the STL is of a scanned stone model, select Register to CT. For better viewing of the model in CBCT scan, left mouse click on the pop-up window and move it to the side by moving the mouse. Next, we'll move the model to a coronal view. Next, let's slide the clipping tool in the volume rendering window until we see the desired anatomy. Adjust the volume position and size as necessary. Now that our views are improved, let's place a midpoint on the model and the patient volume at the tip of the junction between the central incisors. There will be times in which the patient may not have any anterior teeth. When help is selected in the pop-up window, a PDF guide will appear that will walk you through the different scenarios that could occur, including missing teeth and fully edentulous. The guide also explains the use of 2D rendering views when registering the model with the volume. I will discuss this later in the video. After the midpoints are placed, you will see that steps 1 and 2 have been checkmarked, indicating they are completed. Next, we will place points on the maxillary molars on the opposing side of the volume. Place them as far back as possible on the occlusal surface of the distal buccal cusp. After these points have been placed, select Clean Scan in the pop-up window if there is low scatter in the dentulous regions. 
The point registration will use additional points automatically where selected for a more accurate registration. If at any time during the registration process you error, you may select Restart and Begin Again. Now let's right mouse click or select Perform Registration. The software will overlay the stone model onto the volume. To fine tune our registration, we will focus our attention on the upper right rendering window. For better visibility, let's change to a coronal view by clicking on the positional icon on the toolbar. Now we will change the clipping plane and adjust the size and screen position of the volume as desired. Use the yellow arrows to center the middle point and the vertical position of the model relative to the volume. Next, use the green and blue arrows to align the model's tilt with that of the volume. I think the color of the model does make a difference when visualizing the model's position in relationship to the volume. You may adjust the model's color by clicking on the Preference tab on the toolbar. I will change the color of the model to yellow. Next, let's change the lateral views by using the positional icons for additional fine-tuning using the green and blue arrows. After adjustments have been made in the 3D view, use the positional icon on the toolbar to change the model and volume to a coronal view. Let's now take a look at the grayscale slice rendering view windows to continue fine-tuning the registration. I'll start with the axial view, move to the coronal view, and finish with the lateral view. First, let's increase the view sizes of the volumes and adjust their positions for better visibility. In the axial view, let's roll the mouse wheel to scroll through the slices. We want to see the volume conform to the blue outline of the model. If it does not conform, we can make any needed positional adjustments to the model in the 3D view. Now let's move to the lateral view. Okay, this looks pretty good. Now let's move to the coronal view. You can see that the blue outline of the model is higher than the corresponding soft tissue and teeth margins of the volume. Use the yellow, blue, and green arrows in the 3D view as necessary to align the model with the volume. Once the blue outline of the model mirrors the 2D grayscale sections, click Done to either import the model of the opposing arch or start planning your restoration. This concludes our tutorial on STL model import and registration to a CBCT volume. For additional information, consult the Treatment Studio 5.3 reference manual or call ICAT Technical Support at 800-205-3570, Option 5. You may also access additional Treatment Studio tutorials by going to our website, i-cat.com, and choosing Events, then Customer Trainings, and Online Tips and Tricks Webinars. Among the available tutorials are Implant Planning and Placement, Tracing the Inferior Alveolar Nerve, Custom Abutment Design, and implant restoration planning and placement. From all of us at ICAT, thank you for joining us today.